Hello everyone, welcome to Power Electronics. In this session, I will be providing a brief introduction to DC choppers. A chopper is a power converter that converts DC to DC. Hence, it is also commonly known as DC to DC converter. In simple words, you can imagine it as DC equivalent of an AC transformer with a continuously variable turns ratio. It should be noted that just like an AC transformer, a chopper can be used to either step down or step up a DC voltage source. In fact, the requirement for a DC chopper comes from applications that demand conversion of a fixed voltage DC source into a variable voltage DC source. A chopper uses high speed to connect and disconnect from a source load. A fixed DC voltage is applied at regular intervals to the source load by continuously triggering the power switch on or off. The period of time for which the chopper switch stays on or off is referred to as the chopper's on and off state times respectively. Choppers are widely used in applications such as traction motor control in electric automobiles, trolley cars, marine horse, forklift trucks and mine haulers. Choppers can be used in regenerative braking of DC motors to return energy back into the supply and this feature results in energy savings for transportation systems with frequent stops. Choppers are also used in DC voltage regulators. Depending upon whether the application is a low power application or a high power application, you can use different types of chopper switches. For example, for low power application, you can use a GTO, IGBT, power BJT or a power MOSFET as chopper switch. On the other hand, for high power applications, you can use either a thyristor or an SCR. Coming to the classification, we have several categories of chopper classification. A chopper can be classified into a step down chopper or a step up chopper according to the input or output voltage level. In a step down chopper, the output voltage is less than the input voltage. On the other hand, in a step up chopper, the output voltage is greater than the input voltage. It should be noted. When we say the output voltage is either less or more, it is in an average sense. Continuing, according to the directions of output voltage and current, choppers can be classified into five types. Class A or type A chopper, class B or type B chopper. Similarly, we have class C, D and class E chopper. Further, according to the circuit operation, choppers can be classified into three types. The first one is a single quadrant chopper in which the output voltage and current both must be positive for a type A chopper and the output voltage is negative but the current is positive for a type B chopper. The second is the two quadrant chopper in which the output voltage is positive and the current can be either positive or negative which creates the class C chopper or the output current is positive and the voltage can be positive or negative which in fact is class D chopper. The third and the last chopper is the four quadrant chopper in which the output voltage and current both can be either positive or negative and this creates a class E chopper. Lastly, according to the commutation method employed, the choppers can be classified into four types. The first one is a voltage commutated chopper. The second one is the current commutated chopper, third is the load commutated chopper and the last the impulse commutated chopper. Right, with that I end this session on a brief introduction to DC choppers. If you like this video, kindly like and subscribe to my channel for more information. Thank you for watching, have a good day.